Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate Slash the Great War as the Empire of Germany. So we're still building. Luckily enough, our industrial goods are getting on the on the ball here. We are at war still with three countries instead of just two. We're at war still with East Africa and Cuba. But East Africa it's gonna fall any minute. I think we just need to take this town here and that little bit of uh We'll say. Well, actually, they're going all the way around, aren't they? They're going to have to come down here first. Yeah. So our uh, little conflict here with East Africa is going to go for a little bit, which I'm not too worried about. Um, that's just a people that are rightfully declaring their own independence, which I have no problem with. What I do have a problem with, though, is uh, the Congo still existing. Yep, we're so short on industrial goods. We know that. Our advances out that way are going. Forces there are moving. Move that supply truck up. We're going to bring another one up to that little town there. I'm going to agree to all those terms. Yes, I know. We're getting some shooting somewhere. Is it over? Okay. Oh, is it over? Ah, it's over here. Okay. That's Cameroon. That's no big deal. It's going to go back to very fast again. And move on. guys do what they're gonna do uh, you're moving towards the village I want you to move to you guys are moving which is good you guys are advancing south which is perfect guys are advancing west. Even in a moment now as well, we should get a peace deal with Cuba, I believe. Because I can't under... I, I, I don't understand why they want to fight us, but, meh. I mean, that could give us a jump off point into the uh, into the Caribbean. Uh, we would just have to get, obviously, some amphibious units. But our push into the Congo is working. Our push east to retake these two towns is going good.
these guys should be engaged with that, this uranium facility. No, these guys don't have anyone to shoot at yet. These guys march up. Uh, England and Iran have signed a peace deal from the looks of it, which is good. If they can sign a peace deal, that means that uh, things over here should go back to normal very soon. In the meantime, let's pause this location here and start getting troops in position to retake these little villages over here. Alright, so there's definitely units in these towns because we haven't obviously taken them when we moved up towards the border. Speaking of moving up. We still have a couple little villages down here, but we also have rail too, which isn't too bad. We just lost a artillery gun. Okay, we just lost another one. That was my own fault. For, uh... Kind of getting a little over... Over zealous there. We'll have to send some more artillery to uh, to this area of the world. I'm already getting ready to order this guy back. Good supply. Be able to roll into that town now. Get this rail line captured. So this river here is going to be our primary um, concern at this point. We don't have any way of crossing it uh, until we get our really good troops over from Europe. Um, we can station troops in key positions. But we're not going to be able to break it. So for, I don't want to say our... Obviously, it's it's at a lack of... Um, how can I put this? A, a stalemate or anything like that. It's just we're, we're in a bit of a hard spot here. Um, I want to buy as much industrial goods from here as I can. And China? We're not war at you? Nope. 
China won't do it because they just don't like us. Brits will do it. There it is, Poland, France. So if we can get industrial goods up and running, then we are going to be... Because industrial goods are our, our weak spot in our economy. Once we get industrial goods, uh, industrial goods going, we're going to have, obviously, no problem. Hold up there. These guys are going to move down. We're also going to stop all construction for the next little bit as well. We have like you know, repairs and things like that that are going on. So the only thing construction that we're going to have are these things. Uh, this thing has four days left theoretically, which is good. They'll help obviously build the rest, which will slowly filter in, I'm hoping. Still has four days left. So overall, we need 59,000 tons of industrial goods, and we're only able to produce 1,900. So there's a little bit of a deficit. Basically telling the AI to buy as much as it can. But right now there's not enough money. Or there's not enough there's just not enough enough industrial goods around the world to uh to do it. Who are the top producers? No, nope, the Americans won't even bother doing it right now. Yeah, a lot of people just won't even a lot of countries just can't do it so there's a basically a worldwide shortage in industrial goods there you go Cuba wants peace we'll agree to that Boom, one done. Now, military goods and industrial and consumer goods are obviously low due to the fact that, you know, we don't have the ability really to produce much. Uh, industrial goods, industrial goods are needed for both military goods and consumer goods. Power is good. We're low on wood, though. But we have enough stockpiled. Once the industrial goods demand goes down, we should be fine. I mean, we've got 76. A lot of micro and all, no mini, though. There's three mini. So we've got 24 days. What if I went to pause, 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 and pause, and just prioritize one at a time at this point? I know, we're still short on industrial goods. But it's definitely one of these things where it's like, we, we have to get this stuff built. We have to get our industrial goods going. 
There we go, 13 days, and then the next one will be done. So once we get our industrial goods built up, and even supplied and set up, we can kind of make the next few steps and get things going. So theoretically in 13 days we're going to have another one. Now our output of our industrial goods are pretty crappy. It's 16,000 tons a year per factory. So in two days we should have another one done, which is good. We're able to cut this down to 30,000. There's another one done, so this one's at 58, 58, 58, 58. So this one is next. Take a day for it to kick over. And all these guys should still be doing construction. That's going fine. I'm going to order him to uh, stockpile goods needed by population regular subsidized domestic prices. No. Yeah, I want you to increase domestic prices. And export opportunities and import opportunities. Thirty days, you'll be done. Perfect. In the meantime, our force is here. Bring you closer down. Um, we're gonna support Spain's research into nuclear wep nuclear weapons. Not to worry about them being used, so. There we go. We've got that little village. And we're going to send these guys north. We're also going to build a road. Like so. And that will collapse real quick. Because they have no supply down there now. Um, we still have it. Let's do this. Let's close all that. We want to increase domestic prices. That way we can kind of cut back on some of our stuff. Uh, both of you guys are going to be ordered to reserve because I don't need two warships out here. Uh, in the meantime, you are... Eight away, eight wow, eight days away from being completed. Uh, you're now down to what? 30, uh, 35 is our demand. Thirty-five, six, eighty-seven. So it's not going to go down anytime soon. But on the bright side, we can get these over and done with faster. I'm hoping. Yeah, consumer goods are really asking for a lot. So we're supplying our military goods with what they need, but we are not supplying the consumer goods with what they need. That's going to slowly ramp up, which is good. Oh, another one's done. Pretty sure they should automatically, our people should, like our, our engineers should automatically help with the construction. We'll wait a couple days and see what happens. The US is offering more petroleum. Italy, would you be willing to sell me? No.
France is willing to do it. Basically, I'm buying like little batches of, of industrial goods here and there. The U.S. doesn't want to sell me 9,000. How about four? Nope. Okay, how about this? Let's do 90 days. Nope. Uh, no. Uh. Oil right now is a big uh, importer that we're doing. Oh, that was another one. Perfect. So basically doing one at a time is pretty good for us right now. Kind of wish it would tell me... Other than consumer goods that's asking for 322 tons. What else is draining and asking for... Pretty much the other third, the other the other, other twenty six thousand tons. Uh, we're not well. We're building roads. We're probably doing repairs down here, right? I mean, that's probably a thing. Right. I mean. Let's take a look at our theater control options real quick here. Bullets, battle zones, supply, theater. Okay. Theater control, repair. Uh, theater control, repair. And then theater control, repair. Yeah, it's not the. Uh, 68. Okay, yeah, so we weren't actually doing any repairs. Okay, well, that's good to know, I guess. Um, now we are. Now it's even worse. Which, I mean, I don't mind. A lot of that's going to go away quickly, so. But I'm wondering if that's one of the reasons why it's so low. Okay, both those towns just fell. Uh, we're going to redeploy these guys now Second or two, okay. Yeah, you can go there. You can go to that port. I'm gonna go there. Bring one cavalry up to the north. More unit designs. Oh, it's starting to rain like crazy. Explains the headache. Uh, you're all moving now, okay. Ooh, the fastest, let them all deploy again, or deploy west. In the meantime. Just offering me petroleum. Oh. I'm just going to resume all three of these now. Hmm. 
So industrial goods are definitely the the bane here. Right now we don't have the ability to do any research. Right now it's all just vehicle research. Are we only researching? Yeah, let's cut it back to that for now. Because right now, that's... I'm not too worried about military equipment. Okay, so all of our industrial goods are now done being built there. Okay, um... Let's see, I can't do any of that right now because we don't have enough industrial goods. We need to get our industrial goods uh, production up. But we need to do the research to get it done. To get the research done, we need to obviously build more. Or we need to... Okay, nope, you didn't have the stuff you were offering. Eh, a couple warships wouldn't be too bad. So our basically our entire country is hinging on industrial goods use right now. And we need to get this done as fast as possible. We're putting in as much money as we can into our research. Am I telling you to increase our improved tech level improve re and improve efficiency? See if the Americans will do that, because that'll actually be really good for our... We'll support the Greeks for researching. China, please, 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 please. Nope. You won't do it. Supply facility, I know. Do we have the arrangement now with the Americans for the 90 days for, no. They, I'm gonna assume they said no to that. Or they're gonna counter it. Hmm. I wish there was a way that you could actually tell your ministers, hey, approach a bunch of other countries and specifically request a specific good. Try to go for a specific good. Right now we are we are hurting for certain for industrial goods. Big time, big time hurting for industrial goods. 
Um, it's uh, basically a worldwide shortage right now. And did I just see what I think I saw? The Austro-Hungarian Empire have uh, revolted on me. Good to know. We're going to have to deal with this. This we're going to have to quash immediately. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.